what I am going to do here is to create a categorical histogram. I want to create the chart and also I want to create the S-shaped chart goes from probability of 0 to 1. I first need to know how many categories do I have. So what I will do, I come here, I select my original data, original data, and then I go to data advance. Look at column A. Here I do have column B. I should make it A, only unique values. And I say copy it somewhere else. And it tells me copy it where? And I copy it on column B. Okay, but look here. I have average here and I also have average here. Above average here and I have above average here too. Therefore, those two averages are different. Why they are different? Because there is preceding space or trailing space over there. What I can do, I can use a function trim to trim my original data. I'll go here, I type trim original data. And I know I have this column. I'll go here and I type trim and then I click on this one. If there is a preceding space or trailing space, this trim function will drop it. And this is a very safe practice when we are dealing with big data. Because when you prepare big data, you make a lot of mistake in your typing. Trim is one way, one of the ways that we can improve the quality of the data that we have. So I enter it. And when I copy it down, look, this below average and this, this below average are different. If here, if I click, is this equal to this? The answer is false. Because the first one has a preceding space. The second one doesn't have. So I go all the way down to trim all my data. Now my data is trimmed. Okay, there is no preceding space, there is no trailing space. So I come here, categories. Now I am in a better position to use that advanced property and identify unique values. Again, I will go to data, advanced, I should move it to B. So we are talking about column B find the unique values and copy it to another place. It will ask us, where do you want me to copy it? We will say, copy it here. I click on column B, then I say copy, copy in another place. I click on unique values, and then I say, okay, and these data are recorded over there. Now we sort this data, we go here, we copy this data here, copy, and then we sort this data. Go to data and sort it A to Z. Say continue on this. So then I will go here in the frequency I type equal to count if. When I say count if, I go and I select my range. And then because I'm going to copy it down, a four. And this one. Count how many above the average are there. So I click on it, nine. Then I copy it down, five average, three below average, and one excellent, and two poor. Summation of these numbers equal to sum and add them up. That is 20. This is frequency. If you want relative frequency, each frequency should be divided by summation of all numbers. And I lock the second one, enter, and then I copy it down. That is relative frequency 
in each category. If you want cumulative frequency, I go here, this one, and then here I say summation of this one, F2 to F3, but I make F2 absolute, F4, enter, so that is 0.7. Then when I add it up, 0 0.85, 0 0.90, 0 0.1. The last one is summation of all those numbers. So I was able to trim my data. I was able to create the categories. I was able to sort the categories and I was able to compute the frequencies in different categories. Now what I will do, I will go and select this data and I say insert chart and I select this chart. Now these numbers are there. In the first category I have nine observations, in the second five and so on. The problem is that here I have one, two, three, four, five, but what I want to have is below average, above the average. So I click on my bars, I right click, I select data, edit horizontal category, and then in horizontal category, I select these numbers, okay, and okay, and those numbers will appear here, and the categories are also appear there. One other thing I do want to do is to incorporate uh, cumulative frequency in this graph. So I click on one of the bars, select data, add. And when it asks for add, I will go to series value and I click on these numbers, OK and OK. Then I go and select inside the chart and say control 1. And then here, for this orange columns, I say use the secondary scale, okay? That is the secondary scale I have. Now, the number of observations is shown on the scale on the left, which is numbers, the cumulative probability on the right. Then I go and click on one of those columns, change series data type. For the second one, instead of column, I will use line. Okay, now this graph is over there. Then on my Y axis on the right hand side, edit axis. You don't need to go to 1.2 because the maximum probability or maximum relative frequency is one. So that's okay. Then it will go to one again. I may format axis and my, I may say I don't need you to go up with steps of 0.1. Let's go up with steps of say 0.25. And that's it. Then I will have a graph like this. Thank you very much 